Hello friends, welcome to another session of SAP UI5 OData ABAP Services and SAP Fury. My name is Partha Sarathi Goswami and today I will try to demonstrate on simple but real time application using UI5 technology and consuming backend OData ABAP services. So for that purpose, let me go into the system and show you the whole application. First of all, let me log in into the native gateway system, backend system. So I will be using this particular table in my application. So in this particular table, you can see I have I have fields like ID, email, first name, last name, age and address. So let me first show you what are the records are there in this particular table. So you can see in this particular table, I have four records. So my intention is to show all the four records in the browser using UI5 interface in a tabular format and then I would like to operate on this particular records like I will be using the CRUD operations, create, read, update and delete operations. These are the four basic operations that we generally do in any kind of applications let's say in SAP or in Fury or in UI5 or you can take .NET or Java or any kind of development platform you are using you would be using these CRUD operations to manipulate the data into the backend database system. So for, for this purpose to develop the UI5 application, I have used the Eclipse for, for the front end part and to interact with the back end database, I have created OData ABAP services in the Native Gateway system using the ACGW transaction. So this is the front end part in the Eclipse development tool. Here, if I will click on the index.html of this particular project and run as a web app preview, the whole application will come up here. So it is trying to connect with the backend system. That is why it is giving that particular pop-up. Let me copy this particular link and then I would like to run the particular application in Internet Explorer. That is why I have pasted that link in Internet Explorer. And that is also it is trying to connect the backend system. So you can see all the records are coming up in the browser itself. You can see three records in the first page. I am using the pagination. And in the second page, you can see the last record. So in this pagination, I am using three records per page, but you can customize as per your need. And uh, so you can see like uh, the, um, to, to display the records, I am using on tabular format and I am using another thing. It is a form and I am using three buttons like create update and delete so you can you can see right the read operations has already been executed here 
that is why the database records are coming up in the browser right so here i wanted to tell you here i am using on particular table right database table but in your real time application you would be using the cds view if you are using the backend as hana or if you are using any other normal database then uh, you would be using different other views different other 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 views in ac11 but this is also an real time application so if i will go into the browser again this is the internet explorer browser so whenever uh, any user wants to create any new record then he can easily he can easily fill up this particular form right here uh, i have the id as 8 so i will be using id as 9 now and uh, let's take any any name here like abhishek this is this is the email let's say age as 35 and address as pune so if i will hit the create button it is saying create successfully that means that particular record has been saved in database backend table successfully okay so let's first refresh this page it should show that newly added record in the browser itself so let me go into the second page so you can see that particular record has been coming it is coming up in the browser itself so let's cross verify whether that particular record has been successfully saved in the backend system or not that is why i'm going into the backend system table and i'm refreshing the table you can see on new record has been added right so similarly i'm go going again into the browser let me maximize it and okay so i'm going into the first page again so to do the update and delete operation here in this application you have to click on particular records and that particular record information will come up will show up here in this in this particular form right so you can see it like id 7 id 3 id 1 or id 9 id 8 all this right so so let, let me uh, update any particular record here so let's take uh i would i would like to update this record so i'm clicking on this record all the record information is coming up here so here i would like to update the age from 40 to 45 and update it is saying update successfully so let me refresh so the updated information is coming up in that tabular format as well you can see so let me cross verify in the backend table as well so you can see as of now it is 40 only so let me refresh it you can see it has been updated to 45 so in this similar fashion let me try to delete some particular record let me take this record id 8 so when i am clicking on id 8 record it is coming up it is showing up all the record information in this form and i will press the hit button delete button so it is saying deleted successfully okay 
so let me refresh this is for the demonstration purpose I am doing the refresh option otherwise in real time uh, you, you can have this automatically whenever you will you will do any kind of CRUD operations automatically the browser automatically this particular tabular format data can refresh to make it very much simple I have I am taking this in this particular application to show as a demonstration purpose so let me check in the backend system here you can see in the backend database table also that particular record has been deleted right so if I will go again in the browser So, so this is a very simple application but in the real time you can add more and more UI5 controls like carousal, different images of different users, rating options, pagination, geographical maps to, to place the database records in the geographical maps as well you can use different analytical graphs like pie chart horizontal versus vertical graphs even some non SAP UI5 controls like signature pad that also you can embed in your application and whatever you could find in the whole internet world that you can place in your user interface so that's all for today If you want to learn more on UI5, Odata, Fiori or even you want the end-to-end -end integration or development of this kind of application, then please let me know. Thank you. Thanks for watching.